Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So let's learn how to install Docker Compose on a Linux machine. So Docker Compose in, is an orchestration tool basically which is used to run multiple Docker services at one time. So you can write a file and basically you can deploy multiple Docker containers at once. So I've created multiple videos on Docker Compose thing. So you can go to my channel and basically view those things. The prerequisite for this video is Docker must be installed. And I've already written a blog post here on how to install Docker Compose on Linux. So let's follow it. So the first thing is what you need to find the architecture of the Linux operating system, whatever you are using. So let's go to our terminal here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to type the command arc and it is saying x86 underscore 64. So this is a 64 bit machine. So that's why this is the architecture. So this is very important. Once you have found out the architecture of your machine, then you need to download the Docker compose binary for the Linux. So for that, you need to go to this page and this is the release page of Docker compose. So just open it and you will see that different versions are already released. If you are seeing this video at a later time, so the version can be different, but that doesn't change anything for your installation. So basically this is the current version and what we are going to do here is we will be seeing this part that is the assets so inside the assets if I see show all assets so everything will be visible and then this you can see docker compose linux x86 64 so this was my architecture in some machines you can get a different architecture so that's why architecture was very important so our architecture is x86 64 so this is the file so just right click on it that is copy link address then go to the terminal again and use the wget command to basically get the file so this is the downloading process that is going on and if i do a ls you can see docker compose linux x86 64 is downloaded here let's go to the blog again and here what you can see the downloading process already started and finally, you need to rename and make the Docker Compose binary executable. So now let's rename it. So let's say we have said Docker Compose this and we'll just say Docker Compose so, the, so that we can access it through this name Docker Compose. So I've already moved it and then you need to create it a, a, in the executable format. So change the chmod and then plus x which makes it executable and then Docker Compose. So now if I do here dot slash Docker Compose so you can see that the command is already visible. The things are there that what you can use the help and everything is written here. But let's say we go to some other directory so ls so let's say we go to workspace and we say docker compose okay so now this time what will happen you'll say command not found why the command is not found because the docker compose binary that we uh, built here or let's say the we copied and then we moved and created it to this name docker hyphen compose so that is not present in the path of your linux so whenever you write a file or write some command so if it exists in the path of the linux so what happens so path is like it references to some directly and if some executables are present here it will automatically list you so basically this docker compose is not in the path of the linux that's why it is not coming or it is not being executed from any other folder so let's move it to some default locations uh, which are already in the path so one of the location is what if you go to the blog it is user bin so this particular folder if you put anything here any executable or it is also saying user bin that is binary so it already everything that is inside it comes in the path of the linux so basically now we'll do sudo mb and then docker compose and then user slash bin so if i do ls now the docker compose file is gone from here because i have done a movement mb is for move the file now if i do docker compose so you can see the command is available here. So now if I go to workspace also, if I do docker compose, okay, so the command is available here. So basically you need to move the downloaded binary to the correct folder so that it comes into the path. This is all about how to install docker compose. You can go through other tutorials where you can see like how to take a file and then basically run it using the docker compose to create multiple docker containers but this was only for the installation so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please share these videos with other people and please subscribe to my channel thank you